In the book Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Professor Severus Snape gives a lecture on the subject of defense against the dark arts. The dark arts, said Snape, are many, varied, ever-changing, and eternal. Fighting them is like fighting a many-headed monster, which each time a neck is severed sprouts a head even fiercer and cleverer than before. You are fighting that which is unfixed, mutating, indestructible. Your defences must therefore be as flexible and inventive as the arts you seek to undo. Well, that's his lecture. Spoilers! I don't think Snape actually believes what he's saying there. I think it's all part of the act. Yeah, he says that the dark arts are, you know, eternal, indestructible. Well, they're clearly not, as we find out in the final Harry Potter book. They're clearly not. He says that we must be as uh, inventive and flexible in dealing with them. We might even be more flexible and inventive in dealing with them because the light has the power over the darkness. So I think Snape was just saying that as part of his, you know, charade. You know what I mean? Um, interestingly, he's talking about a many-headed monster. Um, we encounter a many-headed monster in the Bible, the Leviathan, the sea monster, a sea dragon. For example, we hear about it in Psalm 74, where... Uh, Someone singing praises of the Lord. Uh, my God, yet God, my King, is from of old working salvation in the midst of the earth. You broke the heads of the dragons on the waters. You crushed the heads of Leviathan. You gave him as food for the creatures of the wilderness. So there's Leviathan, this sea dragon, this sea monster with, with multiple heads multiple heads. The Bible is full of uh, references to dark entities and dark powers and, and sin and wickedness and evil in the world. Um, plenty of dark arts going on being described within the Bible. But, so, I mean, the Bible confronts the reality that's before us. It really makes us well aware doesn't hide away from the facts about what we're up against, but it says, like the Harry Potter books, that ultimately the power of light wins, and the Lord crushes the heads of the many-headed monster. So yeah, Harry Potter, written by a Christian, the ultimate message is hope and the power of the light over the darkness. I think this is a message that um, we really need to hear, the message that we get out of Harry Potter and the message that comes from the Bible. We need to remember hope, especially in times of great difficulty. We need to know that that, that many-headed monster uh, is being cast down, that, that the darkness is falling and fading away. It is destructible. It doesn't last forever. As the uh, biblical inscription on the grave of Harry Potter's parents says, the last enemy to be destroyed is death.